Hi, Alan Stratton from Aswood Turns. This Christmas ornament is for the Christmas Ornament Challenge for this year. It is essentially a walnut disc turned into a donut with a top and bottom finial from a tropical hardwood pen blank as advertised and two feature discs from a maple with some burl figure but made with the infinite axis chucked so that they are totally unique and very distinctive in my mind. Let's get making. As I often do, I'm mounting the wood to the face of the chuck jaws. This minimizes wobble compared to between centers. Since this is an easy mount, I can draw a circle on the lathe, take the wood to the band saw, and easily remount it back to the lathe. Now, since I want to bore large holes, I need to mount the wood to a chuck. So I'm focusing on cutting a short tenon. Then I can flip it around and round off the circumference. But before I do too much else, I will bore a hole to match my long nose jaws in an expansion mount. This is a one and three quarter inch hole. I need to sharpen my Forstner bit. It should cut easier than it is. I'll put a special decoration in this mortise. After a bit of shaping, I'm flipping the wood around to mount on the long nose jaws and drill the opposite side. Then I can finish shaping my donut shape. I'll sand it now just in case I cannot do it later. Next I want to drill the top and bottom for finials. The problem is how to hold the wood for a drilling operation. After trying a couple of alternatives that did not work, I settled on removing two opposing jaws from the chuck, padding my donut with scrap wood and clamping it to the jaws. Then the drilling operation goes quickly. Next I carefully remove a little wood around the hole. The next problem is how to align the donut to accurately drill the opposite side without any corner or reference mark. Finally, I make some useless marks and turn the wood around in the chuck. The recess I cut around the hole has created a flat. Now the flat enables the wood to be 180 degrees around. Then by guess and by gosh, I find the high point and drill the opposite hole. Then remove a little wood here also. With all that finished, I can apply brushing lacquer to the donut. Next I'm turning the finials. A short one for the top and a longer one for the bottom. I'm using an unknown species of tropical pen blank. My skew seems to work fine to round off the wood. No need for a gouge this time. I'm shaping it to come directly from the tenon without any other decoration. Since the finial is short, I decided to drill a hanger hole from the opposite side. That will eliminate the need to remount the finial. Now for the longer bottom finial. I'll start with a 3 8 inch tenon, then reverse it to work the other side. Except for one short cove section with a tight radius, I'm using my skew. Then with the shaping finished, I can sand and finish the finial. Three parts down, two more to go. These will be for the decorations of, on the sides of the donut shape. I'm starting with a small piece of maple with a little burl figure. I've fastened the wood to the work platform of the infinite axis chuck. I'm cutting a tenon on the wood to eventually fit into the donut. With the wood reduced to a 2 inch diameter, I'm reversing it again to the work platform with double stick tape. Next, I'm shaping the future finished side and sanding it now up through the grits. I like to have the background sanded smooth before cutting in the small features. Now I can move the work platform to the infinite axis chuck. I'm cutting three features into the surface. Each requires that I position the wood using the tailstock to point the way. 
Then tighten up the PVC and cut the mini feature with a small spindle gouge. I have to stop the lathe to assess my progress since I cannot see the ghost shadow on the surface. With each feature finished, I sand the feature before changing the position of the chuck. Now for the other disc. This time I'm not reversing the wood after cutting the tenon. I don't need it for mounting now. Instead, I'll cut the tenon in between the wood and the work platform. Then proceed to cut a different style of feature on this disc. I'm trying small arcs. It is the same process as the other piece, just a different style of cut. This is fun. I'm wondering how many different patterns and how many different projects I can imagine and create. As for this ornament, I just need to glue it together and add a hanger wire. I'm already admiring it. Well, I'll show you the usual pictures of the ornament, but they're nothing like examining this ornament at close range. When I look at the two discs with mini skew axis features, I see different patterns and figures, like I'm looking at fluffy clouds in the sky. Sweet! I could almost wax poetic. That's all for this Christmas ornament. Let's see you do your thing in the Christmas ornament challenge. Please give this video a thumbs up, subscribe on my website, and tell your friends. Please wear your full face shield. Goggles are not enough protection. I'm Alan Stratton from As Wood Turns. Come back next week for a new wood turning video.